Sometimes you just want a good all round traditional ukulele. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back. It's Got A Ukulele review day. As ever, summary video review. If you have a look at the link below, that'll take you to the Got A Ukulele website where you'll get a lot more information about this instrument. All the other instruments I've reviewed are linked there too on the reviews page. Lots of thank yous running across the bottom of the screen. As ever, really imperative I say thank you to these people. These people have donated to help keep this site going because I need to stay impartial and I don't take money from brands uh, or stores for me to do this, uh, but it costs money to get hold of instruments to review and to run this channel. So the, the, my eternal thanks go to these people. And you can also say thank you by subscribing to the YouTube channel. And if you hit the little bell symbol, you'll get notified of new stuff coming your way from this channel. Yeah, okay, uh, third outing for this ukulele brand on Got A Ukulele's website. And the reason of that, for that introduction is because the other two I'd looked at from this brand fairly new brand uh, been a little bit unusual one was the excellent baby t tenor which was a tenor scale instrument with a small body which was superb instrument and the other was another very good instrument the pulse which was a multi-scale concert with fan frets um giving you a, a, a well, read the review really funky instrument as well this one though just goes straight back to a very very standard looking simple instrument this is the uma UK 20 ST tenor. It's also available in a concert. It's also available in a soprano pineapple and a concert pineapple. This one is the tenor. And as I say, just very, very traditional, simple double bow instrument. Um, nothing wrong with that. I'm always on the lookout for a good instrument that fits those that, that bill. Um, this one is all solid wood. First little minor gripe. Uh, they call this solid mahogany. Uh, every retailer I see who's got it says it's solid mahogany. It's two pieces on the top, two pieces on the sides, two pieces on the back. But it isn't mahogany, it's a kume wood. And they say that because a kume is very, very similar visually and sonically to mahogany. Um, but it's not mahogany, it's not even the same genus. So why not just call it solid akume? It wouldn't offend me. Why, ha why call it <laughs> mahogany? It's a, maybe it's a small gripe, but I just believe in brands saying what things are. All solid wood though, and it's got a nice sort of orange stain. This is natural. I think they do some stains in colours as well, but I really rather like this one. Reminds me in colour and look to a certain brand that begins with P, who make a solid mahogany instrument, um, but also Snail and brands like that. Uh, it's a very attractive looking, simple, double bow instrument. Even if it isn't mahogany, it's a kume. Let's move on. The bridge is what they call engineered wood. Um, original models of these use rosewood, but they're phasing that out. Now, engineered wood can mean one of two things, I find. It's either a composite block that's put together and then cut into a different shape of wood, or it's a chemically treated and stained softer wood to make it hard. I can't see any composite build in this. I could be wrong, but I think it's stained. Either way, it is very nice and tidy, very dark. It is a very generic tie bar bridge though, isn't it? The sort of thing you'd see on a Carla instrument, not particularly exciting, but you know, again, not offensive and they work. Uh, sitting in that compensated top bone saddle, it's all very tidy down there indeed. Uh, the body is then finished in a gloss, which is largely done very well. There's a bit of pooling around the fingerboard end, a little bit of overpour around there, but everything else is really nice. And again, reminds me of a certain more expensive ukulele brand. I mean, it really is no issues with it at all. I really also like this little, there's a bit of chamfering on the edges of the top and back as well, which also always adds a bit of class to a ukulele. Decoration is, is limited to a simple abalone sound hole ring. Um, which I think works with the colour of this, not too much abalone, uh, nice and simple. Yeah, I like the body, I like the finishing. Inside, extremely tidy, notched linings, tapered braces, not much more to say, but there's no mess in there at all, and it is a very thin top. Um, this is all pretty good, this is all pretty good. Just call it a kume, please. <laughs> Sorry, I keep going on about that. The neck is made of, it's unspecified, but I suspect it's the same wood, more, more akume. The joint at the heel is pretty obvious. There is a joint at the headstock, which you'd be uh, hard pushed to find, but there is one. I re it's glossed as well, but I really, and I really like, it's kind of very flat all the way along and flat at the nut as well. Um, and a really roomy 
38 millimeters, 30 from G to A at the nut. That's really roomy, makes for a very comfortable neck. The fingerboard more engineered wood, again, very, very dark in color and uniform everywhere, bit of end shaping down there for interest. It is edge bound in black. Come on, focus. Oh my word, it is, <laughs> let's try that. It's edge bound in black, which hides the ends of the frets. 18 of those, 14 to the body joint. No sharp ends whatsoever. Little white position dots face out at 5, 7, 10 and 12. Very traditional. They're paired with dots on the side as well. This is a really nice neck. Really nice neck for me. Beyond that bone nut, um, slot head style. Now, on a tenor, I can live with a slot head. Uh, I see they also put them on the concert and possibly even a soprano. No thank you. No thank you. Far too big. Because like all slot heads, they're quite chunky front to back to hold those tuners in place. So we'll have to check as to whether that's done anything to the balance, whether it's made it neck heavy. I know a lot of people don't like slot heads. I'm indifferent to them on tuners, but uh, uh, tuners on tenors. Uh, but as I say, on smaller instruments, not for me. Uh, I could live with this one. It's pretty tidy, actually. Uh, the UMA logo I have spoken about before. I think it looks like something you'd put on a um, preschooler's toy brand. Uh, I don't think it's very serious. Inlaid in wood. Again, minor subjective gripe. The tuners are open gears in chrome made by De Young. As you can see, really, really good quality mechanisms. These work really well. Uh, the strings are unspecified, but they look and feel tension-wise to me like clear fluorocarbon of some description. And it also comes with a really nice, very nice, branded gig bag. Very good quality gig bag. Um, and I keep saying it reminds me of those higher end sort of P brand instruments or the snails and things like that. And then the real pleasant surprise, because I thought this was going to be more expensive than it is. £209 in the UK, at UK uh, ukulele re retailers. 209 quid, all solid instrument very nicely finished and put together slot head wonderful gloss it's not a lot of money and you know that's probably worth 50 quid so you pay 150 quid for a solid mahogany instrument i think i, I think that's an absolute killer price i think it's really going to do well in the scores on value for money if it plays okay but as i say the build is really nice uh the gloss is pr largely well done some people don't like slot heads. I'm indifferent. That's fine with me. Uh, it's not heavy. It's 625 grams. And as you can see, it's balancing okay. So that chunky headstock with the slot head is not making it dip. It sits in the hands really nice and comfortably. It feels nice. I like that little square heel as well. Didn't, didn't mention that. So, so many brands sort of make their heels really sharp here. Never really understood why. When you're playing up here, you can feel like a sharp point from the heel um, end. But let's have a play. Um, Akume, is it going to sound like mahogany? No, they say it's going to sound the same, but I've been having a play of this. I don't think it sounds like mahogany. But you may note from some of my recent videos, I've started to have a real liking for crisper, brighter. I used to really like woody, earthy instruments, but I've really started to go with crisp and bright and direct. Okay, volume. Very good. Yes, very loud. And sustain. The whole thing is vibrating into my chest. I can feel it in my hand. Very good sustain too. But you can note, that's a really bright, jangly, crisp sound. Doesn't sound like a tenor. but it does sound rather nice. Great projection. Um, that's very pretty. There is some warmth in there, but not a lot. Strummed, it's really, really jangly and peppy. Let's have a P. 
करते हैं Is it a little bit too bright? Um, you tell me. I mean, I, I know some people don't like really bright instruments. It's not. I'm not talking spruce brightness. It's just surprising for the look of it. You'd expect a woodier, earthier tone. But there is absolutely nothing wrong there with the clarity of the tone. Really, really crisp and, and direct. Uh, jangly, peppy. It's very, very pretty. Probably not for everyone. Maybe putting a low G on it will... It gets a very good score because it's 209 quid. That's not, I really thought it was going to be considerably more. And that P brand I'm talking about is Pono, of course. Uh, they make something like this in a very similar wood uh, with a gloss. You'd be looking at 400 quid, I would have thought. 350, 400 quid. 209, this is very similar to the sort of snail quality. Um, similar instruments. Pretty no frills. I, I like that. I like no frills instruments. Maybe a little bit plain for some people. Um, my only gripe, just call it a kume, that's what it is, because it's a good instrument and it looks nice and it sounds nice and it's a cracking price. Why do you feel the need to say it's it's mahogany? You may as well say it's koa. It's not. Um, am I making too much of that? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. But I still think this is a really, really cracking little instrument. As I say, also available in concert and a couple of uh, pineapples as well. This is just really nicely finished, really nicely put together. Really nice, clear, direct tone, if that's the sort of tone you like. Plays really nice, really comfortable neck, amazing price. How many more times am I going to go on and on and about this? I think that probably tells you it's rather a good one, and it gets a recommendation. My thank you to Mark Pugh at Stones Music in the UK, who are the UK distributor for uh, for UMA Instruments. He brought them into the UK first and um, found them, effectively, because nobody had heard of them before. Um, thank you very much for the loan of this one, Mark. Much appreciated. These are available in good ukulele retailers. I think you know who they are, in the UK at least. Um, and it gets my recommendation. Right. Back next week. Something really rather special that's come, and we've been waiting ages for it to arrive, customs and things like that, but it's come, it's arrived, and I can't wait to have a look at it. It's first for me. Um, a lot of people have cried for me to get one of these brands on the, on the uh, reviews, and I'm glad we have. Um, otherwise, have a very good week ahead. Look after each other. Beautiful blue sky out there. I may go and enjoy the sunshine myself. Take care. Thanks for your ongoing support. See you all very soon. Bye-bye.